salutations to all you get her dones and got her dids. I am Plumbing Daddy, and the howling monkey over here, the good for nothing assistant, is George McGillicuddy. He's. What? What'd you say? Oh, really? Oh, you're not a howling monkey? Baboon? The baboon is actually an Irishman, or so he claims. One thing for certain, though, he's a raging drunk and a lecher. Which has absolutely nothing to do with how to replace water supply lines. So let's get this started. Now come on and get yourself some. Supply lines are them little water lines that go from the kitchen sinks, toilets, bathroom lab sinks, ice maker lines, wash machines and dishwashers down to the shut off valves right here. Voila! These shut off valves are called straight stop if the water pipes come out of the floor or angle stop if the water pipes come out of the wall. In some trailers there may not be individual shut off valves at all. Which means you cannot isolate each fit. Oh, mobile homes. Sorry about that. They're, they're telling me that's the, the mobile homes, not trailers. There may not be individual shutoff valves in order to isolate each fixture and have to turn off the main shutoff valve every time you want to kill the water. Now, supply lines are an often overlooked item, but are damn important in the grand scheme of things. If one starts leaking, it ain't gonna stop on account of you. Bad plumbing doesn't care a lick about your feelings. When it's ready to break, there it goes. Most people I know will occasionally shirk their re routine maintenance duties. Cars, house, flossing, who can keep up with everything, right? But you're going to hate yourself if one of those supply lines brings a leak, friends. When you go to replace them, you'll find you have several choices. Steel braided ones like these are easy to replace and pretty durable. They just twist down and normally have little rubber gaskets built into them. Now stay away from these but they're the cheap white ones made out of some sort of vinyl on the outside. PEX supply lines, now PEX stands for polyethylene, are durable. This is the PEX supply line right here. Especially if made by a quality company like Odie. However, they're a bit more difficult to replace. The straight tube side that goes into the shutoff valve has a little polyferrule right here that will compress around the tube when the nut is tight. When you put this little polyferrule on right there, the little tapered side, got to go into the little hole right there. That's where all the magic happens right there. Right there is all the magic happens. You must turn the nut pretty tight so that it will stay captured on the tubing, but not so tight that you break the damn thing off. You don't need any gorilla strength for this. Chimpanzee strength will be sufficient. Now some PEX lines have built-in gaskets on one end, which because it effectively acts as a ferrule, makes them easier to replace in traditional PEX lines. So the way that this will go right here is that you will tighten this right here, and keep on tightening it to where it's real, real snug. And the way that you can check to see if it's where it needs to be is when you take, you take it back off and if this little ferrule right here is captured, meaning that it's compressed down and captured and it ain't going nowhere, then that's enough at that time. If you put it in and it comes out just like that, that ain't enough at that time. So, you gotta go tight enough to end up capturing that little ferrule right there. Copper tubing is used for supply lines too. Use metal ferrules on these. If you wish to reuse the original copper supply lines after changing out a faucet, as long as they're in good shape, just be sure not to over tighten the nuts when you go to reinstall them. In this case, since the ferrules have already been captured, you don't have to turn them too tight. If it drips a tad, then tweak it a little more. If it keeps on leaking, then you're just going to have to replace it with a new one. There are even supposedly burst proof supply lines. Personally, I'm not sure I'd bet the house that they never leak. But they sound good, don't they? More expensive choices are available with smart angle stops. 
and supply lines that shut off water when a leak is detected. Technology that keeps on turning forward. Now on the sizing, make sure you match up all the sizes. A laboratory supply line can be, can be mistaken for a toilet supply line. The only difference is that the latter has a bigger size connection on the fixture end here. Both of these supply lines are normally 3 8 inch in size, but can be half an inch. This is important because you must match the supply line to the size of the outlet of its respective shutoff stop. Toilet supplies come in either 12 or 20 inch lengths. This is a 20 inch length right here, while sink supply lines are usually 20 inch and longer. Now keep in mind that supply lines are tubing and are measured OD, outside diameter, while piping is measured ID, or inside diameter. Ice maker lines are normally quarter inch. Wash machine lines have hose end connections while dishwasher lines often have 3 8 inch female nuts on each end that thread over top males. A tip, once you get the darn things hooked up, reach in your back pocket right here and get a little paper towel. You put that right underneath there where you just work. Sometimes the some bitches will have a tiny drip that won't show itself for a while. Leave the paper towel there under there for a few hours. Check in the area a couple times. If you got a leak, that paper towel, it'll let you know. Well, good folks, that's going to do it for today. I hope you learned a little bit about supply lines. Don't take it for granted. They may look as meek as little newborn lambs, but they got the power to jump a jaw of flies into the ointment of your life. If you need more plumbing know-how, go to PlumbingDaddy.com, the Internet's greatest source of expert plumbing info. And of course, if you need a local, dependable, top-rated, reasonably priced plumbing company out to your house or business fast, then call the phone number on your screen and your plumbing problems will soon be just a distant memory. Now, George, let's leave them with a stirring rendition of a fine old Irish ballad. Feel free to sing along, friends. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny, oh, Danny boy.